You've spent a lifetime making memories. We invite you to make more. At Belmont Village, residents find the perfect balance of exceptional living and exceptional support. A lifestyle to suit you and for couples who need different levels of care. An experience designed by experts in hospitality, dining, architecture, and enrichment. It's not just the life you need, it's the life you've earned. Belmont Village Senior Living, the community built for life. I've often talked at length at this channel uh, about the modern urinalist or journalist, right? I do believe that there are good journalists that exist, in particular at the local level. People actually going out there, boots on the ground, to do research. There's many people on YouTube, for example, that I expect uh, that I respect that get out there and get the story. And I fully admit that my channel would suffer greatly without real journalism. One of the biggest, most hilarious things, though, is when people like Taylor Lorenz think that her career is required and that the entire world would crumble without her. She actually said that in a recent interview, a recent interview where she mocked Tim Pool and she mocked me and mocked anyone else who might commentate on the news. Now, Taylor Lorenz is a vile individual, in my opinion, who grew up in extreme wealth, has never suffered, has never gone without, has never not lived in the lap of luxury, but has made a career out of ruining other people's lives. She is not a journalist. She is a bully, like I've always said. And if you agree with me, make sure you leave a like on the video down below because... Uh, I just don't like Taylor Lorenz for a lot of reasons. Now, she gave a new interview to a, uh, I guess, a journalist or another YouTuber uh, whom I'm, I have a fine relationship with. I don't have any, you know, I don't want to send any hate this guy's way. But some of the things that she said in this interview I thought were pretty heinous, pretty hilariously unself aware. You know, this is somebody that wants the whole world to be forced to get 500 jabs and live under a glass dome because she doesn't want to get sick, even though she's happy to get along and pose for selfies with people without her mask. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get into this wild interview she gave. By the way, I wanted to let people know Valentine's Day is just a week away. My company, Coffee Brand Coffee, you're probably seeing a lot of other people's coffee companies out there. My company actually is in charge of our own roasting. We fulfill our own orders. We have our own staff. We have our own employees. We have probably hundreds of different options that you can choose from, and we have a limited quantity available of our Valentine's Day gift box. This thing comes ready to go, ready to gift, nice and packed up, nice and clean. You see it there, ready to give it to someone you love, you like, you hate, maybe someone you're just trying to, you know, get an extra brownie point for a little extra co-curriculars, extracurriculars that evening. Promo code CUPID10 will save 10%. This comes with our rich, real cacao, caramel hot cocoa, raspberry yogurt pretzels, chocolate covered espresso beans, and our medium roast. If you don't like that configuration, you can also build your own box full of sweets and nuts and treats and cocos. You don't even have to use coffee. Also, promo code CUPID10, link in the description. Make sure you get your order in today. Now, there was this interview. And again, no disrespect to the individual asking these questions. I thought he simped pretty hard in this interview, but... He's a pretty small channel, and um, I remember what that was like, and even I get kind of starstruck at times, even now. I mean, go back to look at my interview with Roseanne, for example. Um, I don't know why anyone would be starstruck by Taylor Lorenz, but that's neither here nor there. You can watch his full interview, which was an hour long of Taylor Lorenz talking. I can't think of anything worse, but if you want to subject yourself to it, you know, I think you should be, you should have a right to. First, she talks about, quote unquote, influencers. Now, they refer to me as an influencer, which is perhaps the biggest insult you can call me, or call anyone online other than maybe Ian Miles Chong. So I don't love that title. I definitely am a commentator. I'm not a journalist. I very rarely, you know, break stories that haven't been broken by somebody else. I understand my role. I'm a news curator, a filtration system. I try to you know, find out what's going on that's important in the news, and I try to communicate, <clears throat> cut through the propaganda, cut through the BS, cut through the lies, and try to you know, just make your life easier. I understand my role, okay? Uh, I don't think of myself as an influencer, but uh, they had this to say. 
it's like the people they have so many comments about what you do taylor like um my buddy jeremy over at the quartering taylor lorenz is one of the biggest cyber bullies on the internet and i couldn't be happier that her job her path her career is going down the tubes but the behavior now that is a, a video that i made uh talking about <clears throat> taylor lorenz melting down saying journalism is dying the fact of the matter is journalism tm is the establishment the wall street journal the new york times nobody is paying for their propaganda anymore only weak-minded individuals who need their own political biases reinforced by paying for it every day pay for these papers you know the bias you're going to get when you read the new york times you know what you're going to get when you read the washington post you know what you're going to get when you read the new york post I'm trying to think of right-leaning newspapers but you get what i'm saying you know people know now maybe you buy one of each and you try to understand that <clears throat> that'd be a good excuse to buying be buying it still but for from what i know the only people that like, you know, buy papers are people who clip coupons, for example. That's only value in it. Now, um, I don't care if the New York Times or the Washington Post shut down. And I understand and I actually agree that it would be detrimental to my channel. I'd have to find something else to cover. But I'm basically, you know, I've been on YouTube for 15 years. I'll find something else to talk about. Maybe I'll get to talk about things I like. Behavior of the influencer class is no better. Like the ethical behavior oh, they it. have. They're even worse. Yeah. They're even worse. So it's like, guys, shut. Look in the mirror. Like, sorry, I shouldn't curse on YouTube, but look in the mirror. You know, like. You think I'm worse than Taylor Lorenz? I mean, I don't think I'm worse than Taylor Lorenz. Your incentives are worse. You're producing crazy sh you know? Which I get, like, again, it's for the algorithm. I understand that you're operating by those incentives. Like Now, one thing I will say is I don't create content for an algorithm, but some people do. I create content. I try to read the room and find out what's interesting to you, my viewers. And if you like that, please leave a like on this video. Like, you're my algorithm. If I cover topics that you guys don't watch you all don't watch, then I, then that is my negative feedback. Then I'm like, okay, well, you're not interested in this. So some people will say like, oh, why'd you make 50 videos dunking on Eliza Blue? Well, 200,000 people were watching every one of them. So I create essentially what people want to watch. It is my job to entertain viewers. Um, I understand that's where I am. That's the job I have. And I feel extraordinarily blessed and lucky to have that job. Um, some people create content based on the stuff that they like, and that's cool too, you know? And I, it's not like I don't like, you know, things, but you get what I'm saying. It is kind of self-aware to say like, yeah, well, people are creating content by, you know, what that, that's what people want. That's what gets pushed. And also, like you said, they have no formal process for mm -hmm. correction. They have no wrong. We do have a formal process for corrections and we use them all the time. Every time I'm wrong, I will admit it. I will tweet out a correction. I will delete a video. I will add a disclaimer. Sometimes I'll mention it in another video. I have multiple avenues to actually correct things. No formal process for anything. It's just, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's worse than the traditional world, which is also a mess, you know? So. And it's like, people are like, well, we have Tim Cast. We have Tim Cast. He's the news, Pete. He's the news. What is Tim Cast going to do if the nose goes away? I, I know enough. I've seen enough Tim Cast. Three fourths of what he does is just coverage of what someone else did. 100%. Like, but also, like, I mean, someone like Tim is. Now, that is fair. Again, I cover what other people cover. It's a vicious cycle. I cover biases, I cover hypocrisy. That said, I don't think anybody. I don't think anybody is saying we want the news to go away. We can still talk about news that is happening. I want better journalists. I don't want people on TV making $35 million a year to tell us Russiagate or any of these other long debunk things, Pissgate or any of this other stuff. Those are not journalists. And that is, you know, they see themselves, <clears throat> someone like Taylor Lorenz, for example, she sees herself as making a difference. She writes about 14-year-old girls on TikTok. She's not making a difference. Nobody's going to miss her when she's gone. I mean, from the industry, okay? I want real journalists, and guess what? I'll commentate on what they're covering, right? 
people I can trust covering things at the border, things that are happening oh, over in the sand, things that are happening in Russia. If there are people that I trust there, guess what? My job doesn't go away. And nobody is saying that they don't want more, more uh, they don't want any journalists. They want good ones. It's a good example of Tim is a commentator. He doesn't do original journalism. I don't think Tim has ever called himself a journalist. As far as I know, Tim definitely is not a journalist. He is a commentator. In fact, his own Twitter buyer says, host of Timcast IRL. That's it. Now, if he has, if he does call himself a journalist, well, that's simply not true. As far as I've seen, maybe he yeah, does something. No, I don't think he, his org sometimes does. Yeah, exactly. Okay, fine. But he's primarily a commentator. Mm -hmm. So he's commenting on the news, as you said. And if there aren't journalists to sort of like create that news that he can then get outraged about and spin and lie about or twist the facts or whatever, like. So, oh, that's a casual shot at Tim, right? So Tim is saying, or she's saying, oh, well, if, if we don't create the lies, she's saying, if we don't create the lies, then what would Tim Poole lie about? What would Tim spin? What would Tim f get fake outraged about? I mean, I don't think Tim gen generally, you know, gets outraged about a particular piece of news. I think in general, he gets mad about lies and spin and, you know, deceiving the American people, just like I do, which is why so many people watch our shows. So many more people watch his show than mine. Civil war. Okay, sorry. I mean, I find Tim, and I know Tim used to work in news. Tim has become fundamentally dishonest, and same thing with Glenn Greenwald and stuff, and I'm sorry, I know people. So he's now, she's now calling Tim Poole. This is, I just want to remind you, this is Taylor Lorenz calling Tim Poole fundamentally dishonest. This is a woman that went on TV and cried about being cyberbullied after doxing libs of TikTok. Right? This is a woman that attacked a coworker because they weren't a lunatic about the coof. Because she is living in fear of it and she won't leave her house. People stand these people. They lie for views constantly because that is the incentive of the internet. And it's very frustrating to see them heralded as like independent journalists when act First of all, Again, I don't know any anybody that calls Tim Pool a journalist. Glenn Greenwald, that's a little different. I suppose some people do call him that. Um, I'm less familiar with Glenn's work. I know he works with me at Rumble, but our paths have never really crossed. I think he was going through a family issue when we were both, when we had a chance to meet. But um, So I didn't really want to bug him. But um, again, so now she's just calling, outright calls Tim Pool a liar. Again, Taylor Lorenz for the Washington Post, who prints lies every day. Actual independent journalists, people that actually try to go out and do the reporting and do the journalism, it's, it's impossible for them to survive. A huge fallacy again here by Taylor Lorenz. Uh, maybe she'll do an interview with me. I'd give her good faith opportunity to, to, to say why she thinks writing about 14-year-old uh, girls' TikToks would destroy my career destroy Tim Pool's career if she stopped writing about 14-year-old girls' TikToks. I cover five, six different topics a day, every day. Plus, I live stream every day for two hours on Rumble. Taylor Lorenz's musings might be one topic out of 20. I don't need her to put more lies out onto the planet for my business to exist. I would love to go back to opening Magic the Gathering cards. One day, I think about when I retire what that's going to look like. And that's probably what it's going to look like. I'll never stop YouTubing ever. But what I will do is start like just doing stuff that makes me happy all the time instead of stuff that makes me angry. You'll see me driving RC cars, opening up Magic the Gathering cards, and it'll be, you know, I'll, ha I'll get 2,000 views of video and I won't care. All I have to do is work five more years. <laughs> Every year that Joe Biden's president, there's another two years I have to work. Yep. Yep. And no, there we are either at center or culture. We're very much in a moment where 
being a moderate truth teller, trying to be to be to be fair, it doesn't get you a lot of traction. It's I disagree with that. You know, again, I, I have no problems with, uh, you know, the interviewer here at all. Um, but I disagree with that. I believe that I am moderate. Leave a like on the video if you think I'm moderate. Only the only people that think I'm some kind of like far lefty are people are far righty are people that are far left and don't watch my videos. I'm very moderate. I'm so moderate that it pisses off my viewers sometimes. Um, and I do try to tell, I never knowingly lie. I try to tell the truth. My truth is how I see things. And it's been all right for me. You know, 700,000 people a day tune in, watch videos. It's been all right for me. So, I mean, you can exist out there as somebody who tries to be a moderate person who tells the truth. That's, that's the lie the media wants you to believe. And I'll end there because I think that's the biggest point. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below. And we'll talk to you again real soon.